Today, we're at the Lois Hart Park Mountain Bike Trails located in Mulberry, Florida. These epic trails are hand carved out of an old phosphate mine and offer challenging features and killer views. If you want to learn more about the history of the mining industry, there's a phosphate museum located in downtown Mulberry. I'm sure the museum is badass, but we're here to shred some trails. So let's get this ride started. So, so far, it's just been kind of a just single track. Um, I've heard there's a little bit of a ride to get down to the to the fun stuff. But there's been a few little features along the way. Oh, Ooh, burn here. Try to conserve my energy a little bit. It's pretty hot and humid already. Well, that's cool. Oh, I've seen this feature before. All right, we got to go back and hit that real quick. <laughs> Definitely looks different in person than it does on video. It's a uh, looks like you got to have some pretty good speed to clear it. We'll cruise back around and check it out. Haha, <laughs> easy peasy. Just hit that little wooden double. Man, that was a lot of fun. Got the little heart rate going already. I think I needed that to kind of get myself woke up. I was kind of dragging a little, despite having a Big old cup of coffee. They put down this rubber material, I guess, to help you kind of navigate through the sand. Definitely seems to work. It flows pretty fast. And I guess I'm going the right direction. There's swamp water to my left, so that's hopefully a good sign. Definitely want to go. Don't want to go back home. I just got here. So the name of the game for me today is stay hydrated and get and don't overheat. We're on a trail called Skunk Ape right now. Here again, let's. We got these little climbs. Woo! Missed my turn. This is a single black trail. And probably commands a little bit of respect here. I need to definitely do a little pre-ride. I don't want to come around a blind corner and go into the drink. I'm looking down a little drop here into a little wooden berm. Looks totally cool, but in addition to that, this place is just so incredibly beautiful. I mean, it's just just surrounded by what looks to be a giant live oak tree, and we got palm palm trees. Look at this oak tree here, looking up into the canopy, and all kinds of birds chirping. Really unique place, man. This is really cool. Super glad I decided to come out and and check it out let's get riding let's get this ride going again oh shit <laughs> speaking of birds almost got one yeah these are at the end of these little drops you got to be on your toes man definitely some exposure here <laughs> this is cool. Punchy little climbs up. Yeah, I always find it kind of a mixed bag exploring new trails. There's the, the excitement part of it because it's something totally new. You know, around every corner. Something new and interesting you hadn't ridden before. This trail's called Max G's. It's a blue trail. So we're going to cruise down here and check it out. It's still pretty early in the day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to ride the whole trail system today. I mean, my goal is definitely to hit some of the more technical stuff, but 
if I can hit it all, that'd be that'd be awesome too. Ooh. Well, for being a blue trail, this is pretty blue. It's pretty dang dark blue, if you ask me. I mean, I've ridden the single black and double black trails here in this. This is something else, man. All right. Once again, we're down here in these little hairpin turns. Tight little rascals. And if you don't have your wits about you, you could absolutely wind up down in that water. I mean, I haven't seen a gator here yet, but I'm confident they're down there. We are in Central Florida. Woo! <laughs> the splash zone. Not today for me. Hopefully. That was really fun. This trail's called Your Mom, and it's a double black. It's definitely one I was looking forward to riding today, and I got the gate closed off. Maybe similar to what's going on with Gravitron and Moonscape over at Alifaya. Maybe the soil here, this time of year, they just shut it down because it gets too too muddy and too washed out. I think I'm gonna backtrack just a little. I wanna at least go down there and, and kind of look at it. I, I passed some of the key features on this line, so we'll go see what, what it's all about here. Yeah, I'm not sure why this trail's closed. Fuck, my luck was a alligator nest down here all right we're gonna hit this little drop and then there's a small little gap jump after it <laughs> yeah, definitely hitting this line at speed. It'd be a lot of fun. Another drop. Whoa! On these trails, when it says caution drop, you kind of have to pay attention to those signs. Sometimes they're not a big deal, and sometimes they're a real big deal. Kind of like this one here. It's a pretty good little drop there. And you're pedaling uphill into it. Go ahead and scoop out this drop to you. This is a stair step drop. You can just roll down it, but it's kind of different. And I guess if you got enough speed, you can kind of launch off of here. Today, it's going to be just a roll, a roll down it for me into what looks like a pretty sizable tabletop. I mean, definitely these are features you could spend spend all day out here just sessioning stuff and dialing it in. Today, my goal is to cover a lot more ground, so I'm going to hit a few of these little features and then keep on moving. We're gonna hit this drop here and send the second drop. The second one's kind of this little funny stair step thing. These are so cool.
Give me a little bitty. Whoa. Right around the corner into this cloud. Let's see if I can make it. Woo! And a little bit more climb. Oh, and the stair steps. So this little feature here is called Jacob's Ladder. Anyway, it's three little stair steps. It's not, it's not super, super gnarly, but I mean, I'm about to hit it and I'm gonna have to definitely keep my wits about me. Not a rollable feature by any means. You're gonna have to kind of jump off of each one and have just the right speed, so. Let's check it out. At this point, I gotta get my, my speed right, right off the bat. Woo. And really, I don't know if you can do it much smoother than that. That was a pretty, pretty rough little ride. It was a rider there. If you like this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment and tell me about your favorite trail. I'd love to check it out sometime. If you like downhill and free ride, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on treading.